Hello, this is John from New England Prepper Society, and I've been seeing a lot of panic buyers lately. Let's get into it. Now, I'm really on here to, to make a stink about what I've been seeing lately. You know, there's a lot going on in the world. We have the Ukraine-Russia drama popping off. We have China-U.S. tensions, uh, Iran-Israel. And so in the prepper community, I follow a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of people on Discord. And it's just, it's ridiculous. We have the people who just overdo it or underdo it or do nothing. Like people like information more than they actually like doing things. And that's something today that I'm going to address. So let's let's just dive right into it. Uh, there's two things I want to talk about today. I'll keep this video short. And one is the panic buyer. Let me explain to you what that is. Panic buying, alternatively hyphenated as panic dash buying, also known as panic purchasing, occurs when consumers buy unusually large amounts of a product in anticipation of or after a disaster or perceived disaster or in anticipation of a large price increase or shortage. Panic buying during health crisis is influenced by one, individual's perception of a threat of a health crisis and scarcity of products. Two, fear of the unknown, which is caused by emotional pressure and uncertainty. Three, coping behavior, which views panic buying as a venue to relieve anxiety and regain control over the crisis. And four, social psychological factors, which account for the influence of social network of an individual. Panic buying is a type of herd behavior. Keyword, herd behavior. 2020 coronavirus. I was already prepping. My friends weren't. I had what I needed in my house. My friends panicked over toilet paper. A virus is going around, causing you to get fever. You're unable to breathe. Your lungs are attacked. And the first thing that comes to your mind is I need to buy toilet paper. Let's dig into that. What's the psychology behind that? Because it doesn't sound reasonable. The only reason you and your friends and family flock to the grocery store to buy toilet paper was because everyone else was doing it. Sad music intensifies. Everyone else was doing it. Now you did it. Okay. That is a panic buyer. Panic buyer has no idea what to do. They probably go to the grocery store. They go to hardware stores. And they see what everyone else is buying. And they copy them. Those are people who have no plans in place. Use no logic. They think every day they wake up is going to be a normal day. And when something happens, they have nothing in place. No plans. Nothing written down for them to go out there and get the goods that they need. Or they have nothing in their house. Don't be a panic buyer. Most of you are. Most of my friends are panic buyers. If you're going to the store buying goods because a storm is coming, guess what you are? A panic buyer. Ding, ding, ding. If we go to war tomorrow and you're rushing to buy something, you're a panic buyer. Those are the people who are the fools when things hit the fan. What's a prepper? I'm glad you asked what's a prepper. I'm going to tell you what that is. I'm redefining it. I see a lot of crazy people on the internet. You make us look crazy. We, there are normal people who have things put away in case something happens. Preppers are normal people who understand that everything is not perfect in the world. You may have to put some things aside. Medical, food, water. You may have to have an alternative shelter. Those are preppers. It's not the people who have a thousand bullets, 10,000 guns, not even a bullet per gun, have all these tools that they never train on or never use, and fantasize about the world ending. That is not a prepper. That's someone who is just fantasizing. I don't want to 
talk bad about people on here. So if you're coming to my channel, you probably saw the name New England Prepper Society. I had one guy say, you're a prepper. That tells me a lot about you and your political choices and life choices. Listen, man, my response was, we all have a life to live and I'm living it. No need to argue. But I consider myself a prepper. Because I understand things are not finite. Governments are not finite. Systems don't last forever. Do we want good systems to last forever? Yes. Do they know? Prepare for the end of a system. That's what a prepper is. On a higher level, if you believe in Jesus, you're preparing for his return. If you read Revelation, you know what happens. If you don't believe in the Bible, such is life. Let's see where that gets you. If I'm right, I'm, I'm good. If I'm right, you're not. If I'm wrong, I'm still good. In the same prepping scenario, I have all this food, all these tools, off-site locations, a prepper mentality to not just survive and system collapse, but to thrive and rebuild a community. If that never happens, I just got extra food and lands and properties and toys. If it does happen, I'm thriving. What can you say about yourself? I encourage those, hear the call, hear the message, prepare for what's to come. Prepare for it on a higher level. Get to know the Lord, get to know yourself, and who you are and prep now I know my demographics those who watch my channel are the wise age 40 to 70 and I appreciate y'all and I respect y'all because you are the ones that pass the torch to me and my generation and I thank y'all for coming to my channel to watch this and I'm sure you out there have the knowledge the skill set the patience to deal with us and thank you for that and we cross paths or we don't, doesn't matter. But if we do and things are bad, we can build something. But that's my message today. My message really is to tell you to prep on a higher level, to understand what it is, and don't be a panic buyer. If I get one person out there that really takes this into an account, I'll be happy. Tune in for my next video.